The Association for the Wolf Lake Initiative, or OLLI as we call it, was organized in 1999 to get all the partners in the Bi-State Wolf Lake area together to talk to each other. And some of the stakeholders are City of Hammond, Indiana Department of Natural Resources, Female, Green, City of Chicago, and Cook County. And everybody gets together and says, this is our Wolf Lake, this is our George Lake, this is our Eggers Wood, and we want to keep it this way. Right now, we are standing in the city of Chicago, which nobody would believe that there is a giant lake with an impressive biodiversity within the city limits of Chicago. On one hand, if you look behind me, you can see typical aquatic ecosystems, all kinds of natural life going on. But then look on the other side of me and you see oil containers and industry, and there's 100, 150 years of this sort of environmental impacts. And they're living, you know, right next to each other. Wolf Lake is just one of those jewels in the Chicago region that we still are trying to understand. You know, why is there such a wonderful biodiversity in this lake that we really haven't taken very good care of for such a long time, and yet vestiges of it remain? And as it turns out, Wolf Lake has a very unique species living in it called the mud puppy. This is a fully aquatic salamander, and for whatever reason, Wolf Lake has one of the largest populations in Illinois. We're starting to do restoration projects. We're starting to bring some of these types of things back. And so it's amazing that that, that biodiversity has survived here in Wolf Lake, in the Calumet region, with the whole history of industry that has been in the region. You could say I was a student of Wolf Lake. It taught me basically how to view conservation dynamically because everything changes over time. Wolf Lake has changed over time. All ecosystems change over time, and change happens. You have to go with it. And I've worked in a dozen different countries around the world, and when you step back and you look at it from you know 40,000 feet, you can see that it's really just a continuum. The same processes are going on everywhere, all around the world. It's just that the intensity and the way those are working are slightly different. So ironically, what's happening in Wolf Lake is the same as what's happening in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. You just either have a lot more people or a lot fewer people, but fundamentally, if you learn the lessons that each area can teach you, you can apply those to other areas depending upon how you would like to see the future unfold. And so it's really up to us to decide where we want to see Wolf Lake in the future. One of the things that we have learned over the past hundred years is that our actions have a huge impact on the lake and we can drive what we want to see happen here. So I would like to see a greater diversity of some of the more sensitive species that perhaps were here in the past. And that's going to be a challenge because it's going to require a bit more habitat restoration and some management along those particular lines. But people need to want to do that and you need to have buy-in from a bunch of different groups to do that because of all the different groups that work on the lake. And so Ali or the Association for the Wolf Lake Initiative, one of these great organizations that ties together all kinds of other organizations that are working in the area to bring all of these different groups together so they can talk together and find common goals and common grounds. So this is Eggers Grove. This is one of the natural sites in the Calumet region. Wolf Lake is actually east of us. And another thing that Owley is doing now is we are actually giving out scholarships to local teachers to bring their classes to Wolf Lake and start up an environmental ed program focusing on Wolf Lake or areas near Wolf Lake. And that way we get that generation interested in coming out to nature, seeing this, becoming involved, because 10, 20 years from now, they're going to be the decision makers. And if we can get students and others and the neighborhoods all involved in trying to conserve Wolf Lake and improving the environmental quality around here, it will improve their quality of life as well. I'm Carolyn Jackson, State Representative District 1, which is Hammond and Whiting. I'm currently on the Environmental Committee, so I was invited to go on a tour to learn about Wolf Lake and how important it is to the community. And nature plays a role in children's life because it gives them an outlet. It gives them a sense of uh, enjoyment. You know, when you're outside, there's a calming and a soothing that comes over you. And those things will help children to come out and enjoy the outdoors. And then they will have a sense of love for it as they grow older. Wolf Lake is a sanctuary of wilderness in the midst of the urban core of Chicago land in Northwest Indiana. And here we are surrounded by heavy industry in one of the most heavily populated 
parts of the United States. It's an oasis of serenity and beauty that can teach us the web of life is one. We are all interconnected. And I've always believed that by connecting with the natural world, I connect with my own deepest self, but also connecting with the natural world is important for human beings. It does contribute to our mental and physical health. The Hammond Port Authority under Hammond Mayor Thomas McDermott has devoted a lot of attention to the lake, has created some recreation amenities that have brought a lot more people here. So I think that having open lines of communication between the Association for the Wolf Lake Initiative and the Hammond Port Authority is very important because people are gonna wanna live in a place that has access to wonderful forms of recreation. When I'm out on the water, my favorite place to row is the North Channel, where it calms down in the evening to where the lake becomes like glass, utterly serene. Then your spirit just kind of empties itself. The thoughts go away, the worries go away, and you're just focusing on each stroke aware of what's around you, but not distracted by it. There's a kind of pure tranquility, a kind of serenity that comes over one at that moment. It's an oasis of serenity and beauty that can teach us to love all of the seasons. And when I first came to Chicago to go to graduate school, my first glimpse of the city was driving on the toll road. And from there, I could see this brown industry just spread out before me. I was horrified. I'd never seen anything like it. And then I came here years and years later and realized that in the midst of that ugly rust belt, there's beauty, not just Wolf Lake, but the communities here, the working class homes, families, the churches, the organizations, which is mirrored by the diversity of Wolf Lake. This is a place of beauty. So we have a bright future because the Association for the Wolf Lake Initiative is connecting people to make sure that Wolf Lake is protected. And this bi-state cooperation is a wonderful opportunity to do that. The mission of the Forest Preserves of Cook County is to acquire, manage, and restore our natural lands for the education and recreational value for the public. We own two really important properties, Eggers Woods and Powderhorn Preserve, one north and one south of Wolf Lake. And we're looking at connecting the very north end of Powderhorn Lake right into the south end of Wolf Lake. And there's a number of different benefits to doing that. One is we're hoping to infuse some gene pool from Wolf Lake into Powderhorn Lake and invigorate the fisheries there. We're also looking at some of the species that are unique to Wolf Lake that can make their way into Powderhorn Lake, mud puppies and other animals like that. And Powderhorn Preserve is literally the east end of that property is the Indian State Line. AWLI or OLLI is an organization that is laser focused on this really big resource. They are the kind of the glue that pulls this together. So we do not have a ton of interaction over the state lines just because our purview doesn't allow us to do that. And they can work across state boundaries, they can work across county boundaries, they can work with different municipalities in a way that we can't. And our goal is to be a contributing partner to what's going on at Wolf Lake as there's so many different owners, so many different interests, so many different things going on at the lakes. We're interested in particular in the natural resource uh, value of the lake, and we're interested in the human recreation side of, of that natural resource. I think Wolf Lake provides a service that you really can't find in many urban areas. And it provides people the opportunity to recreate in the way that they see fit. And now we, we are learning more and more that for people's physical, mental well-being, that being in nature, has a tremendous positive health effect. We're starting to see medical professionals writing prescriptions for people to take three walks a week in nature. And their goal with that is to get people to turn their minds off, to bring their heart rates down, to reinvigorate the peaceful side of their nature, which is critical for health as we're finding out. And nature provides the opportunity to relieve that stress, to immerse yourself in something different, Shut your mind off all the worries and just enjoy the beauty around you.